for it. So what is this bike here? So this is the Baruni uh, cargo bike. This is something new that I found at Innerbike. But the creator of it, he did not have a booth. He was actually sharing a booth, so I happened to run into him. And um, he showed me the bikes. He's uh, an architect, and he's been looking for a way to make sustainable transportation, and he thought he would tackle the cargo bike market. Hmm. So what he wanted to do is he wanted to make a cargo bike that rode like a regular bike that you could still put people or things on. Uh, it was kind of a mid-tail, not too long. Uh, this particular bike is a non-electric version, uh, but he has designed it first to be electric, so this yeah. is great for uh, budget-minded. Some people come in and say, well, I want to get on the bike, but I can't afford the electric system yet. So then they buy this bike, they ride it for a while, and then they add on the electric when they can afford it. Huh. So it's been designed that way. Huh. Uh, so the battery goes here. Um, it's going to have, this is kind of a pre-production prototype. I had an electric version and it went over so well, I sold that already. Wow. Uh, first of the year, I'm expecting the new setup. A um, few little tweaks, different brakes. But it's a fun bike to ride. Well, it looks like, you know, you've got your disc brakes front and rear, and you've got eight speeds in the back with Shimano Acera. And I love this nice aluminum bash guard. So it looks like a pretty heavy-duty bike with these big sort of oversized tires here. Uh, and I, those almost, those remind me of the Pedigo tires. Are they um, Kevlar-lined or? No, these aren't the Fat Frank. These are, uh, these are uh, CST. So they're a little different, basically the same style as the Fat Frank. And it offers some nice support when you're going over bumps. And I like this rack here. That's kind of how you're supposed to do it, right? The front wheel turns independently and then this yes, supports exactly. more and weight. So this, there will be a basket that mounts to here with the different brazons, and that will hold 55 pounds. Okay, and this is the Baruni Scarlet here, mm -hmm. is that right? And then the asymmetric, this is one of the features that's really thoughtful that I love on this, the asymmetric frame here. Huh. I, when I asked him how that works, it's so you can step over it. Oh, wow. So you're not catching your foot on it. Well, that is so cool. So yeah. I love small manufacturers. I love manufacturers that I can call up and chat with. And um, so I'm really uh, curious, or I'm really excited to see how far these go. And I'm excited to be one of the first dealers for him. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. He's got a seat post shop there.